could it actually be possible and safe for you to use a eBay piercing kit at home? <music> and welcome back to my channel. With all of our investigation into the crazy world of DIY at home piercings and the fails that they all are, I thought it would be amusing to purchase a kit myself and give you a review of the contents of it. Coming from a piercer's perspective with knowledge of what is used in a proper studio compared to like the dodgy things that are found on the internet. I think it'll be interesting to see what eBay and AliExpress and these like online companies where they're coming from like China and that sort of thing, um, this cheap quality, cheap made needles and clamps and all that sort of stuff, what it is actually like. And just let you know if I think that the eBay AliExpress piercing kits are up to scratch for you to use at home. So this is the kit. Um, yep looks pretty professional to me it didn't like come with a lot because i just got like the most basic pack really i didn't want to support purchasing these things not that like hundreds and hundreds of people wouldn't buy them probably every day so i just got like the bare minimum because like i'm not going to use any of it so i don't see the point in like buying a kit with like everything in she comes with a lovely set of plastic or acrylic penningtons so that's like a triangle plant I don't know if you can see that. And it's like an open clamp. They're called Penningtons. You can get these like plastic ones in a ring closing plier, ring opening plier. I don't know how strong they are because like a ring opener, like they're normally, they've got to have quite a bit of strength behind them because especially depending on what type of rings you're opening, the thicker the gauge, you need to have that like strong like metal ring opener. So I don't really know what a plastic one would do. Septum forceps, Pennington forceps, septum forceps for tongue. And it says sterilized by EO gas. We have some luscious, absolutely beautiful gloves <sighs> that are a one size fits all, which is never a good idea when um, you're piercing because like obviously you want gloves that are going to fit nice and snug for your hands so that you can grip those balls really easily because it just makes it so much harder when they don't. One pair of gloves for, let's see how many piercings there are. We have four needles, 214 and 216 gauge. Again, these ones EO gas sterilized. Bam, that's them. You've been given one pair of gloves for four piercings. That's sick as a dog. Between piercings, even on the same person, you are meant to change your gloves in between each piercing because you can cross-contaminate between each piercing because it's going from one body part to another. Even if you were doing four in one go, this isn't enough gloves. So like, that's just stupid. And they're just like open. Who knows who's touched them? They've just been chucked in. Like they literally were sitting in like the sketchiest bag I've ever seen in my whole goddamn life. Just in like this gross. <laughs> Ziploc bag. What? In addition to our one pair of gloves, four needles, we have two alcohol swabs. What? Like, again, each area needs its own alcohol swab. Like, just two. Um, so, like, are people reusing these or are they using one on every different body part? Like, it's gross. Disgusting. Even if they were trying to do that, like, once you've used it, it's, like, contaminated and it's dirty. Like, why would you want to use it on another spot? Like, you need a fresh one. And, like, they're so cheap that it's, like, why couldn't they have just put one for each? I don't know. We've got our little bag of probably, like, the world's cheapest jewelry of all time. Uh, let's see if the jewelry is even jewelry that you would use for initial jewelry. Oh, wow. Already we have this happening. That is a little gem there. So like, the navel jewelry is like way too short. Already all these gems have like fallen off it. You can see those like, like you're supposed to start with a 12 millimeter and this is a 10. It may only seem like a small difference, but like it makes all the difference. And like the amount of times I've seen people come in with, jewelry that's way too short and to change it over you soon realize that it was a 10 not a 12 so they've been pierced with way too short of a bar because you need that swell room to begin with and to like get your navel pierced with jewelry that has like gems on it that like are going to irritate the area to begin with 
uh, it's not a good idea, especially when the gems are falling out of it. This is like the shadiest jewelry I've ever seen in my life. Like I literally just took it out of the packet and like the gems have already fallen off, but that is dodgy. The funny thing is all the rest of this jewelry, none of it is 14 gauge. So you've two 14 gauge needles for only one 14 gauge piercing. We have a captive bead ring, which really isn't ideal for initial piercings, but like you definitely can do it depending on what piercing it is. But also this is eight, it's way too small, no room for swelling. Actually, all of these are eight millimeter bars. <laughs> what? Eight millimeters should not be used um, to begin with because they just, there's no room to swell. We have a labret bar that's eight millimeters. So a tragus would die if you put an eight millimeter in it. You've got a curved bar that's eight millimeters, a barbell that's eight millimeters. We have an eight millimeter horseshoe. We have another eight millimeter horseshoe with spikes, another curved bar and another librette that are both eight millimeters with spikes. I see a lot of videos in America where people are getting pierced with these type of needles. Um, we don't use them in Australia. I have used these and I think they are the worst. In Australia we use cannula needles so basically like you would have seen I'll like insert a picture here. Basically it's like got a tube around the needle and I find them to be so much like the precision the like sharpness of them even they slide through so much easier. These needles are like a lot of effort. You'll see videos of these being used and you have to, like people put a cork on the other end. And then another thing is the time they have to upsize because the jewelry won't fit into the needle. Whereas when you have a cannula, it like fits in perfectly. That probably makes no sense to a lot of people. I personally don't think these are the greatest needles. And it's just funny that these are the ones that come in the kits because they are cheaper than a cannula needle. Cannula needles are more expensive, but they're so much better. But they're definitely worth it. I don't know why all studios don't use cannula needles and why these are like still being used because I I just don't think they're great like they mm -hmm. when people are doing them at home they rarely have cannula ones um, because they're coming in a kit like this they're just giving you like the crappiest stuff as you can see everything else that it has come with is just trash like who knows what metal the, like the jewelry even is and like the thing with the needles and the fact that it says that it's sterilized it's like you don't have your country's certification on there saying that it's sterilized in australia ours are even imprinted with a expiry date because after a certain time the sterilization or like the gas that it was sterilized with they're no longer safe so you have to throw them out but these don't even have dates on them. That's why I've always been sus about this stuff. Like it could just be printed saying that it's sterilized and it may not actually be sterilized. Who's to say it is? Like they could have just packaged it up and like had these printed. The same with all the stuff you can buy, like all that fake makeup and all that sort of stuff on eBay and AliExpress. It's like, yes, it may have all that stuff printed on it. Like the counterfeits literally will have the exact ingredients and all the information copied from the original brand that they're like ripping off. But those aren't the ingredients. So who's to say that these are sterilized? For anyone who's seen any of the videos on those like factories and stuff, the conditions are so dodgy. Like it's really hard to know whether these are safe. And I personally wouldn't use them because I don't believe that they would be safe. Yeah, especially with no date, like ah. Uh, Anyone, any company could print up this stuff and have it bagged and sealed and no sterilization was done because that would just be another cost. Clearly with everything else that has been put into these packages, I really think they're like skimping on the cost as much as they can. Obviously you're buying it very cheap as well, but they're like mass producing or they're mass buying it and then reselling it from there. And that's a whole nother way that they can make more money. If they skimp on what they're putting in these kits and also like, obviously they're skimping, they're putting two alcohol swabs in for four piercings, you know, giving you all this jewelry, but like still only four needles. Like they're skimping in ways. And like also this clamp is just kind of like a waste of time. Like you could use it for the navel. I mean, it'd be super bulky, but you could use it for a tragus. Like it would be annoying to use big bulky boy but like you wouldn't use it for anything else so it's like kind of pointless like this is just a big bulky boy that we do not need basically like you have no idea what you're actually buying it's got information printed on it but like really who's to say any of that is actually true it's not a reputable company so really what i'm trying to say is do don't buy a piercing kit off ebay or aliexpress or any of those 
sites just because like you have no idea what you're buying you have no idea what you're putting in your body you have no idea what you're piercing your body with it's just like a whole dangerous realm that you do not need to enter instead just go to a piercer you'll have it done professionally sanitary everything will be done and you don't have to worry about dying maybe from these sketch as materials they are trash and that is where they belong thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you could give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here that would be amazing and i will be back very soon bye